Okay, and um, welcome to uh, today's lab. So today we will learn that how we can uh, design a simple dashboard in Tableau. So we will introduce the basic elements that in designing a um, dashboard in Tableau. And the data we're going to use is the same data that we used uh, from the previous lab. So that is COVID-19 data uh, from the 1.3 acres. Uh, so you can go ahead and download the data from the URL that provided on Canvas, uh, which I already did. And in addition to that, uh, we are also going to uh, download an image so that to use to in our dashboard. So I just searched a um, COVID free use image. So I just want to make sure that those images are allowed uh, to use for free. And the first one that pop up is from the CDC. Uh, so you can see here um, they do provide a high resolution image. Uh, however, I think in our case, we can just download this one. OK. And let's save that one to the download folder. So that is JPEG image. All right. Uh, so now you can see uh, in my downloads folder. So I have the COVID data being downloaded. And also I changed the extension to CSV file. And I also have this <coughs> image being downloaded. So let's move those two uh, files to our uh, OneDrive folder. OK, so this will be our uh, lab eight uh, for dashboard design. And now let's open Tableau desktop and let's connect to that uh, CSV file, which is considered text file. OK, uh, see as we fail. OK, I didn't paste the data yet. Sorry for that. So I paste the data, move the data from download folder to the lab eight folder. And now let's see text fail. OK, and go to lab eight and the cases. OK. Uh, so now you can see we have data that now being downloaded from the 1.3 acres. And so every time we download data, so we all see the updated data. OK, so let's change those um, uh, fields. So let's say this is a date. OK, and this is a state. And this is a county. OK, and this is number of confirmed cases. Let's just call it cases. Deaths. OK. Uh, and also recoveries. OK. Again, remember that not all counties or states reported recoveries. So that's why you have you see lower recoveries. And this is FIPS. OK, so which is a unique ID for each single county. All right. And also, let's drag FIPS to the dimension because that should be a dimension. OK, so now let's quickly create some charts in Tableau. So I think after those previous labs, so uh, you will now be able to create some very uh, excellent charts. So uh, the major topic is creating dashboards. So let's create some chart very quickly. So first, let's create a line chart to show the number of deaths and also cases per day. So let's click date and also cases. OK, so now we have a line chart. And let's change that one to daily basis. And let's drag key, uh, number of deaths also to the line chart. OK, uh, so this will be daily cases and that's OK. And now let's give it different colors. So for the number of cases, uh, let's keep using. Um, uh, let's keep using original color color uh, for the death. Uh, let's just use a, um, this original or orange color. Of course, you can choose a color that you like. OK, uh, but here I just want to um, distinguish the deaths and also the cases. OK, next, let's create a bar chart to show the number of cases per county. So let's select county and also cases. And let's create a bar chart. 
OK. And similarly, let's drag death here. OK, and we can see Los Angeles right now has the most number of cases and New York has the most number of the deaths. OK, so that is sum of cases and deaths. OK, and again, let's give it different colors. So for the case, let's use a default one. Uh, for the deaths, let's use the, the same color that we used earlier. So make it consistent. Again, you can choose uh, different colors you like. So I think the key point here is that make the colors to be consistent. OK, so that is easier for user to understand your data. Next, let's say that we want to create a map to show the number of cases and deaths per state. So let's click state and let's choose cases. And now let's create a corpus map. OK, and we can fill out the locations. And we also want to show the number of deaths. So let's um, copy the latitude, longitude. And for this map, let's drag out cases but bring, uh, bring the deaths to the size. And here, let's create a dual X map. And let's change the color, OK, for the deaths to, to be brown, OK? And for this one, so that is number of cases and deaths per state okay so we want to create another map that shows the similar information for each county so let's just duplicate this one okay and here let's see uh, we extend the details to the county level okay and we can see we have more locations um, that are not recognized so let's fill out the data OK, and so this is the per county. OK, so that is um, our false um, map, false chart. And finally, so let's say we just want another visualization to simply show the total numbers, OK, number of cases and also deaths. So what we can do is that we can bring the mirrors to the columns, the values, to the text okay so for this one we don't need uh, this just the numbers okay and we uh, let's hide the title and here we just need number of cases so let's drag the others out and let's rotate this one a little bit okay uh, let's also format the numbers okay uh, so let's see for the number of cases uh, we want to show that one at probably million level. And for the deaths, let's probably show that one at uh, thousand level. OK. And we don't want shading. OK. So let's remove the shadings. And we also want to give them colors. OK. So remember that for the markers to change colors we can hit control and also drag mirrors to the color okay and you can see by default they give cases the blue color and also that's the orange color and which i think worked that's great all right so now we have i think all the uh, sheets that are ready so number of cases daily cases deaths, sum of cases and deaths number of cases that's per state number of cases and that's per county and we have a total number okay so now let's create a dashboard so here right here we can click create dashboard so first thing we want to do is that we want to make sure that the size uh, so it's really depending on your purpose so if you know that your audience will use a uh, browser or desktop and you can choose that one uh, if also you know that they're using PowerPoint and you can choose that one as well. Or you can specify the numbers 
okay, uh, with very specific numbers. Uh, so in this case, let's choose automatic, okay, because we are not sure that how the audience will look at our um, dashboard. And here you can see instead of those date dimension of values, we have all those uh, sheets that are available. We can also add those objects. So that we have the containers, so horizontal containers, vertical containers. We can add text, images, etc. So if we go to the layout view, we can see the hierarchy of this dashboard. So we have a dashboard which is empty. Okay, and depending on the item that on the dashboard, you can change, uh, like specify the positions, the borders, background colors, uh, paddings, and also you can see the hierarchies. Okay, let's say we can let's name this dashboard as Lab Eight. We know that is not a good name. Okay, so now let's see. Let's first drag the numbers. Okay, so now you can see this numbers takes the entire dashboard, and if you look at the layout, we can see it is a uh, tilt. And we expand, we can see it is a horizontal container which has this sheet and also legend. So they belong to different containers, but they all belong to this horizontal container. And here you can change like the background of the containers. Okay. And you can also change the background for specific containers. Okay. Uh, so here, let's say we don't want the legend because I think um, itself is pretty clear. And let's also hide the title. And let's also use this one as entire view. Okay, so that we make those changes. And those changes will go back to the sheet. So here, okay, those, uh, those format changes will not go back to the sheet. Sorry, um, but if you change the format, let's say um, the color of the kisses, I believe those will be changed back to the sheet. Okay, yes, so those changes will go back to the sheet. Okay, so let's do not do that. All right, so now we just added uh, the numbers which occupies entire dashboard and that definitely is not uh, the ultimate dashboard we want. So next let's add um, the other sheets. So of course you can design your own layout of your dashboard but remember that the most important part always go to top left. The least important part go to the bottom right. So let's say I want to put the, the state Okay, next. And depending on, so you can see that those shaded areas are the areas that you can put your new sheet. So let's say I want to put that one to the right of the numbers. Okay, and again, if we go to layout, we can see we have this entire horizontal container. Within that, we have uh, this horizontal container that contains our two sheet. And we have vertical container that contains those legends. Okay, so here let's drag the numbers to the left. So we want to make that one to smaller. Okay, and uh, so here we have a big map. Okay, and we have those legend. Okay, uh, so let's see. We want to put the, those legend on top of the map. So even uh, so right now we are in a tilted uh, formatting, so we can switch the floating. So now everything is floated. Uh, or we can still keep the tilted, but we just make the legend to be float. Okay, so we can put the legend. Okay, so that is close to the map. Okay, and again, if we go back to the layout. So now you can see that uh, the hierarchy also changed. So we have this tilted layout and also we have two floating legend. Okay, 
So I just want to give you a better idea that so how the dashboard is organized. OK, so next, let's add the county map that we want beneath the state map. And let's move the legend up to for the map and also the legend, the map of state that belong to that one, uh, belong to state. OK, and you can see for these counties, uh, we don't have legend, so don't worry. So now we can bring the legend back. So this is the color for the county, color legend for the county. Um, let's also bring the size legend for the county. OK, uh, so here, this is my consideration. So I want to make sure that the state map will keep like this. OK, so I just check this one so that state map will always show in the state at this scale so that the legend will not move. OK, so that will be here. But for the counties, I want to zoom in, you know, uh, to different counties. In that case, if I put a legend at floating above the counties, so sometimes the legend may overlap with the map. OK, so in this case, so so that means uh, I, so in because of that, so I will move the legend to the tilted so that the, the location will be fixed so that no matter how the map is zoom in, zoom out, so legend will always be here. And that is similar consideration uh, for the cases. And now you can see when I, so now we have those four items in this container. So we have numbers, those two legend. And you can see if you change the size of the one item object, the size of the other object will also change as well. OK. Uh, so now we have two maps. And the next, let's also bring the line chart here and also bar chart here. OK, uh, so now we have all the sheets and also all the uh, element that on our dashboard. Uh, so you can adjust the size a little bit. OK, so that you can make sure that the important part uh, will become bigger. OK, um, next. Let's also insert the downloaded image. OK, so here, let's say we want to put image here. So just as a decoration purposes. So if we insert image, so it is not necessary. So you don't need to insert image every time. I just want to show you that we can do that. So let's choose uh, the image. OK, and we can make that fit image and also we can center the image. OK, and you can provide the URL. So if you like, and you can also add alternative text. OK, uh, if that image doesn't work. OK. Um, and of, of course, if you want to adjust the size, you can just adjust the other part. OK. Uh, next, let's say we also want to include the author information and also the data source information. So that is a text object. So let's say we want to put that one here. OK. Author. And date. Data source. Uh, so that is 1.3 acres. OK, and date URL. So if you like, you can also provide the URL of their uh, website, which actually was required in their term. OK, uh, you can also change the colors. The size.
All right. Uh, so that is uh, uh, the dashboard so far we have. Um, next, let's see that uh, we want to enable the interactive. Remember that uh, interactive is always a very key important feature uh, in the modern visualization. So let's say we want to enable this one as a filter. So when that is enabled, so we click the state. And also for this map, let's uncheck the reset map so that it will be automatically uh, to the selected range. So let's see if we select the taxis. You can see all the other visualization has changed. Uh, if we select the select the um, the sea, California, we can see all the visualizations also changed. Okay. Uh, so now with these um, uh, filters, of course, you can also add the other actions on the dashboard. OK, so you feel free to try the other actions or highlight, etc. Uh, so one something that important in the filters is that number one, we want that user to know that, OK, so this uh, map can be clicked. So let's change the title here. Let's see click the state for more details. OK, so let's put that one smaller. OK, of course, you can add still keep the title. But here, just want to uh, tell the audience that click the, the state to, to show more details. OK, uh, next, I also want to to, to show to change the titles for the other sheet. So for example, for this one, I want to show that those this is a number of cases and deaths in the state that being selected. Okay, in the state that being selected. So here, let's see. I to do that, I can choose the dynamic. Um, title. So here you can see insert that should state and also state. OK, uh, so let's also put that one a little bit smaller. So number of cases and deaths in the selected state. Let's see where that work. OK, so it, you can see in Texas, in California. OK, and I also want to customize the colors. So like for the for the cases, I want to use uh, the blue color. OK, so that is a similar color uh, on the other uh, uh, sheet. So I use uh, the screen pink color. OK, and for the dance, I believe that is this color. OK, so that will hopefully save the audience the time to understand the colors. OK, so that means the orange will be dance and also blue will be the kisses. OK, so let's look at Virginia. All right, let's do the same thing uh, for the other sheet. So some of uh, kisses and that's in, let's insert that state, state. And uh, let's change the size to so make it smaller. For the cases, OK, and uh, let's pick the same color. For the dance, let's also use, OK, so now let's try it, Georgia. OK, that's great. And finally, for this one, so that is daily cases and dance in Let's insert the state as well. State. OK, and put that a little bit smaller. Let's change the color to use a consistent color. And for the dash. OK, again, you can always change the colors that um, you like. OK, and also you can set the others. Um, uh, let's say the bar chart and the filter, uh, if you like, so that uh, will provide more flexibilities for the audience. 
All right. Um, okay, so some tiny issues. So first, we see that there are some negative numbers, like for some data, for some state. So those are probably some uh, date errors. So let's filter out those data. So so now if you go back to the sheet, you can see each sheet has those actions. OK, so that because we enabled except for this one, because we enabled actions on the dashboard. So now we want to uh, filter uh, those negative numbers that for all the data resource. So the simplest way to do that is we go back to the data source and we add a data source filter. So that will filter out the data that at the right before all those visualizations. So let's say for the cases, we say at least zero. And for the deaths, OK, at least zero. OK, so I believe those are some temp errors in the data source. OK, so now if we choose taxes, so now we can see those errors are gone. OK, so that's number one. Number two, so remember that when the when I changed the uh, the the font of those uh, like this text, so I use a different font. OK, for this one. So if we want to make those font consistent and we should do that, so we can go to format and we can change the format for the uh, for the entire dashboard. OK. And and also we can change that one for the entire um, sheet. OK, so let's say we want to change the format for entire sheet. Let's we choose um, this OK as the default font. And now you can see this one has been updated. Uh, you can also play with the other formats, for example, shadings. OK. So those will apply for the entire dashboard. However, if you want to change shading for each single sheet, you still need to go back to the to the to the specific sheet. You can also clear the formattings. Uh, okay, so that will go back to retrieve to the default format. Okay, and you can also try the other um, uh, objects. So, for example, you can try to add a web page. Okay, we just provide URL, so that is so that will be an embedded web page. Uh, you can try to add navigation bars, so that will so if you add it, and you can allow user to jump to diff specific sheet or dashboard. Okay, and you can also allow user to download your data, so add a download button. You can also try add extensions. So there are a lot of third part extensions that um, provide additional uh, functions, for example, uh, um, to help you update data and provide natural language uh, analysis, etc. So if you're interested, you can try those extensions. Uh, of course, you can add containers, etc. So here I just want to highlight the blank. So blank is simply add a blank object. Okay, but why it is important? So uh, it is is very useful. So for example, if you want change, if you want put this uh, number to be a little bit smaller. Okay, and you can use blank. Okay, so that is a way that if you want to organize uh, your dashboard. So for example, you, when I show the title. And I want to put the image to be smaller, so I can add a blank here. OK, so that is very useful that for you to help you to organize um, uh, the layout of your dashboard. OK, so let's here um, add a name. So let's see COVID-19 in the USA. OK, so this is not the best <laughs> um, title, but yeah, I think that will work. Uh, you can also insert the other information like um, the sheet name, default title, font name, etc. OK, 
And for the dashboard titles, uh, you can also insert additional information, for example, the date that the data source has been updated, the data source name. Uh, if you enable the page, you can also insert uh, the page count, etc. Okay. And next, so remember that when we are viewing dashboard, so we may not just look at uh, via our browser or desktop. So we may also now more and more people are looking at dashboard on different mobile devices uh, like, you know, cell phones or tablets. So that's why that uh, uh, tablet also provides uh, uh, the function that allow you to design the dashboard in different device views. So for example, if you want to see how the people that uh, look at your dashboard on the cell phone, so you can go to cell phone view. And remember that for cell phones, people just normally will scroll down to see all, to see the data. So within this box, so that is how the data look like. Okay. So if you want to change the layout, so you just uh, uncheck this lock. So here you can uh, change the layout of this dashboard. So, so for example, that on the cell phones, I may not need this image. Okay. Um, and also you can see the author information. So I want to put that one be beneath this map. Okay, so I want to drag the map here. Okay. And also this information. Um, probably I want to put that one at the bottom. Okay, so that when the user look at on the cell phones, COVID in uh, in, in the United States, you will see the numbers first, and they will see the map with those legend, and they will see click the the map, uh, the state map, county map will be updated. Uh, let's also bring the legend of the county map close beneath uh, the map. And finally, so we may want the text to be the bottom. OK, so that's the layout. Uh, you can also uh, see that here the blank has been removed automatically. OK, and those blanks and also images has been removed. OK, so because some elements may not be necessary in the device, uh, in this device, in the cell phone. Okay, and you can also, if you like, you can also add a new device type. So, for example, not for the cell phones, you can also even for the tablet, etc. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Okay, so that is how this this will be how people look at with desktop or the browser on the computers, or, and this will how the people look at by using a cell phone. All right. Uh, next, for those sheets that has been used, okay, you can see those sheets that has been used. So if you want to go back to ch change those sheets, you can just click this arrow, so that will allow you to go back to those sheets. And since those sheets has already been used in the dashboard, and if you want to allow user to focus on your sheets, so you can also hide those sheets that are being used in the dashboard. So remember, you can only hide sheets that are being used. You cannot hide sheets that are not being used. Otherwise, uh, it will not be able to find those sheets. OK, so now in a workbook, you will have one dashboard. OK, and if you want to unhide those sheets, you can just go to the sheets. OK, and um, Okay, if you want to unhide the sheets, you can just right click here and you can unhide all the sheets from the dashboard. Okay, I think I accidentally created a new sheet. Oh, all right. Okay, so that is our lab eight. So we created a very simple dashboard. Uh, we with uh, those different maps and also visualizations and also we enabled the filters. Uh, we used those dynamic uh, titles. 
Okay, and also we make sure that the colors are consistent. And we added the other uh, object like images, uh, blanks, text. Okay, and also we try different um, device views. Okay, so now let's save this one. Uh, I think I should have saved this one earlier. So let's save our workbook to our lab eight. Okay, and uh, let's adjust this one a little bit. Okay, also adjust this one. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, so let's upload this one to our uh, Tableau online so that uh, you can also download a Tableau device uh, app on your cell phone so you can view the layout on your cell phone. So let's go to server. Okay, and again, I'm going to show you how to sign in with Tableau online. So go to Tableau online. We do need, you do need a license for Tableau online. So here I'm going to use my account and sign in. And also depending on the permission you have, so you, uh, you may be able to upload the data set or you may be able to publish uh, your workbook. So here let's just publish the workbook. Okay, and choose the group you are and also for the name. Make sure you are using the last name, your first name, last name, and also lab eight. Okay, uh, it says already exist. I think I have up upload upload this one earlier, so I'm going to switch to a different project. You can add descriptions, tags, etc. Okay, so let's publish. Okay, now you can see this has been uploaded. And if you want to share with other users, you can, of course, do that. But that is not necessary. Uh, you can preview in different layouts. So let's try that. OK. So this is how it looks like on the cell phone uh, and also on the desktop. And also on the tablet. So we didn't change the layout in the tablet because I think it is most likely as a desktop. OK, of course, you can also still edit your uh, dashboard um, table online. So if you open it and remember that uh, in this workbook, we hide it, we hide the other sheets. So when we open it, we just see this dashboard. But if you do want to change, uh, let's try click. OK, and you can see the filters are working. OK, and if you do want to edit, you can still do that. So if you go to edit. OK, and we will see a similar interface. Uh, so this is in a dashboard design view. And if you want to go to sheet, of course, you can go to sheet and also make editings. Uh, just similarly like we did on the desktop. OK, and finally, so if you are interested, you can download this Tableau mobile app, which I think is free. So and after you download it, you can sign in with your uh, Tableau online account so that you can view your um, your visualizations by using cell phones.